Hi guys, welcome all. Let's continue with the GK series today. But before we do do that, CAT has released the response sheet today. What is the chosen answer of candidates? What is the actual answer? All the questions they have given. So instead of comparing it to take, it is too tedious. We have made an online tool where if you just upload your HTML file, we'll get the detailed breakup as well as the overall score. So do check it out. I'll leave the link in description. Let's continue with part two of the GK series. Before we go to part two, uh, yesterday we made a video. There were a few corrections from that. The Roland Garros French Open is won by Ashley Barty. In the women's single, last year it was won by Simona Halep. This year it was won by Ashley Barty. And uh, the overall Grand Slam total, the highest winner is Serena Williams. This is in open category. Open category since 1968, professional tennis has started. Since then, the maximum number of Grand Slam has been won by Serena Williams. If you take all time, all time Grand Slam, highest number of Grand Slams is won by Margaret Court. She has won 24 Grand Slams. In men's category, the Open as well as all time has been won by Federer. It is 20. Nadal is right behind him at 19. Coming to football awards, Ballon d'Or award since last 10 years from 2008 to 2017. It has gone to either Lionel Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo. This trend was broken by Luka Modric. Last year it went to him. And the Golden Boot Award in the World Cup, FIFA World Cup of 2018, it went to Harry Kane. He, goes, he scored 6 goals and the Golden Award went to Thibu Cortez. And also you can remember these uh, wins. Premier League is the most followed one. Premier League was won by Manchester City and these are the other leagues. In cricket records, the fastest century in ODI was scored, scored by A.B. De Villiers. He scored it in 31 balls and the fastest century was scored by both David Miller as well as Rohit Sharma. They did it in 35 balls. The essence of clearing any MBA exam is practicing by way of mocks. We give previous year IFT, ZAT, SNAP papers in the actual exam format. You can take these tests for free and get detailed analysis. Let's begin with arts and culture today. List of Indian dance form. There are 8 classical dance form. These are very important. You can expect questions from these. 8 classical dance form. Bharatanatyam is one of the oldest dance form of India. Uh, it is dated to 1000 BC, about 3000 years old of recorded history. It is originated from Tamil Nadu, but it is very famous across South India. Kathak is a dance from Uttar Pradesh. Kathak comes from the word of Katha. Katha means storytelling. So it is a dance which is uh, in the form of a, in the form of storytelling. Kathakali is also has the same roots. Kathak is also called as the dance of love. It is from UP. It is also called as dance of love. Manipuri. Manipur is one of the northeastmost state of India. It largely reflects their uh, culture and tradition there. They uh, perform dance form of, uh, say, uh, romantic dance form of Radha and Krishna. So Manipuri is one of the classical dance forms. Yeah, Kuchipudi. Kuchipudi is one of the toughest dance forms in India. It's very difficult to do. It is from Andhra Pradesh. We have Odisha. Odissi from Odisha. We have Moini Attam. Moini Attam and Bharatanatyam. These are one of the oldest uh, dance forms of India. Moini Attam is from Kerala. And the last one is Satriya dance from Assam. Kuchipudi and Moini Attam, both of them are classical forms where it uh, involves uh, Carnatic music. Carnatic music where there are more patterns involved. So it is slightly, very, uh, slightly difficult to follow. We also have other dance forms like Rao from Kashmir, we all know Goomer, Goomer is from Rajasthan, Bihu is from Assam, we have Lavani, Lavani is a famous dance form of Maharashtra, we have Garba from uh, Gujarat. Try to remember these eight uh, uh, classical dance forms of India. So moving forward, we have also compiled a repository of all the folk dance forms of India. Andhra Pradesh has Kolatam, it also has Vilasini Natyam and Dhimsa, Arunachal Pradesh has Aji Lamu, Ropi and Phoning. Assam has Bagurumba as its folk dance form, Bihar has Kajri and Jumri, Haryana has Gugga and Khoriya, Gujarat has Ras, Bhavai and Tippani. Goa has a lot of tradition linked to Portuguese since they had colonized Goa for some time. So they have many traditional dance forms, we have Mando, we have Talgari, Suwari, Dasaravadan, we have Kunbi and we have Fugdi. Chhattisgarh has Dandari, Kendi, Panthi, Karma and Dam Damkach. Maharashtra has Pauri, it also has Dhangadi Gaja. Kai Kottikali is a folk dance of uh, Kerala. Tumbi Tullal is also a folk dance of Kerala. Odisha has Gumura. Don't get confused with Gumura and Gumad. Gumad is from Rajasthan. Gumura is from Odisha. This is a folk dance form. We have Gotipua, Rukmar. Karnataka has Yakshagana, Dullukunita, and Bhuta Aradhane. Rajasthan has Kuchi Godi, 
Kalbelia. Kalbelia is also a famous dance form. You have Bhavai, you have Sapera dance. Lastly, the Bengali dance forms are Gambira, Kalika Patadi and Domni. Coming to Indian festivals, there are several Indian festivals like Ram Naomi or Diwali which is common to everyone. We are just uh, listing the uh, state-wise specific festival. Andhra Pradesh, Ugadi is very famous. Ugadi is a new year of Andhra Pradesh. Uh, it is called as uh, Bigu, Bohag Bigu, Bihu in uh, Assam. This is the new year festival of Assam. This is done in April. By Andhra Pradesh has its new year somewhere in March. This is the same in the case of even uh, Karnataka, you can say. Bigu is the new year festival of Jharkhand. Arunachal Pradesh has Solung. Solung is an agricultural festival. Once we sow seeds, then uh, this festival is celebrated. They also have the Losar festival, Murung, Re, Mopin. Assam has Ambubasi festival. It is also called as the Ambubachi Mela. It is one of the huge Mela, Mega Mela, you can say. Ambubachi Mela, it happens after the monsoon season. They have Baishagu festival. Bihar has Bihula, Chatpuja. They also have the Rajgir Dance Festival. Goa has something called as the Fountainas Festival of Heart. Fountainas comes in uh, Panjim. Panjim or Panaji is the capital of Goa. In Panaji, there is a place called as Fountainas. Uh, so, this is a place where there is a lot of Portuguese art is dominated. So, this is a Fountainas Festival of Art. Goa also has the Sunburn Festival. It is one of the famous music festivals. Apart from sun Sunburn, we have uh, Nagaland as Hornbill Festival. It is again a famous music festival. We also have Zero Music Festival in Arunachal Pradesh. We have Mari Mahindra Blues in Maharashtra. Apart from this, Kite, Kite Festival is famous in Gujarat. Holi is famous across India. In Jammu and Kashmir, Leh Ladakh. In Leh Ladakh region, region Doshmuche Festival is important festival in Leh Ladakh. Kerala, Onam is the most famous festival of Kerala. We have Baisaki or Vaisaki in Punjab. We have the Konark festival in uh, Odisha. There is a famous Konark temple also in Odisha. So, Konark festival is there. International Sand Art Festival is also held in Odisha. We already saw Hornbill festival in Nagaland. Try to remember the northeastern states because it, they are, it is culturally specific. So likely that these questions come. Meghalaya has a festival called as Nongkrem Dance Festival. Mizoram has Chapcharkut festival while Nagaland has Hornbill. This is a music festival. They also have a festival called as Moatsu festival. Rajasthan, Rajasthan we have Gangaur festival. There is a, in Jaisalmer there is a music festival which is held. This music festival in Jaisalmer is called as the desert festival. It is very popular in these days coming to Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu has Pongal. Pongal is the favorite festival or important festival of Tamil Nadu. We have other festivals like Thai Pusam, Jallikattu. Jallikattu, there was also a lot of controversy surrounding it. The Natyanjali festival. And West Bengal, Durga Puja is very specific to West Bengal. We have Durga Puja in West Bengal. And lastly, Nandikar National Theatre Festival. This is a fine arts festival. It is held in the Academy of Fine Arts in Kolkata. Apart, these are some important state-wise specific uh, festivals. Apart from this, all important festivals like Diwali, Ram Navmi are uh, celebrated by most of the states. Moving ahead, countries, capitals, currency and language. There is a lot to go through here and it is important from various standpoints. It is important that you know the geography well. I will brush through all of them. Try to go through it three or four times so that you can recall it well. Afghanistan. The capital of Afghanistan is Kabul. Their currency is called as Afghani. Their important primary language is Pashto or Dari Persian, you can say. Argentina, capital city is Buenos Aires. Various G3, G7 summits and all happen here. Argentine Piso. Piso is the currency of Argentina. The main language is Spanish. Spanish is also main language of Spain. It is the main language of Argentina. We have Australia. The capital city of Australia is Canberra. Again, it is Australian dollar and English is the primary language. We have Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan, the capital is Baku. Lately, the second world uh, religious conference have, was held here. In Bangladesh, the capital is Dhaka. The currency is Taka. You need to remember this. Currency of Bangladesh is Taka. Currency of India and Pakistan both is rupee, while the currency of Bangladesh is Taka. They speak Bangla there. Even West Bengal speak Bangla. Bangladesh also speaks Bangla. Belgium, Belgium, the uh, capital city is Brussels. Brussels, if you remember, NATO's headquarters is in Brussels. The currency in Brussels is uh, Euro. It comes in a in European nation, so it is uh, the currency is Brussels. They speak multiple languages there. Bhutan, the capital is Thimphu. The capital of Bhutan is Thimphu. And the currency is Glartam. 
the primary language of bhutan is called as zonka try to remember this he, this is our neighbor the primary language is zonka brazil the capital of brazil is brasilia they are uh, the currency is called as real the ca currency of brazil is real they speak portuguese canada is ottawa china we know it is beijing the currency of china is yuan and the language is mandarin most chinese speak mandarin czech czech republic the capital is prague again various U european summits occur at uh, czech czech republic denmark the capital is copenhagen another european city egypt the capital is cairo france is paris germany is berlin i just go through there are plenty of cities greece is athens hungary is budapest indonesia is jakarta so indonesia is the headquarters of of asian and the currency of indonesia is called as rupiah in india the currency is indian rupee the indonesian currency is called as rupiah and their primary language is indonesian iran capital is tehran iraq is baghdad try to remember these two iran is tehran and iraq is baghdad israel is jerusalem we have japan japan the currency is yen capital is tokyo we have north korea the capital is pyongyang greatly it was in news when uh, north korea was having discussions with us south korea is seoul and the currency of south korea and north korea is called as won south korean won and north korean won their uh, language is korean kuwait is uh, the kuwaiti dollar a uh, kuwait city malaysia it is uh, ringgit is the currency then you have myanmar the currency is kyat nepal Kathmandu is the capital. Netherlands, the capital is the Hague. It is in Amsterdam. And then New Zealand, the capital is Wellington. Nigeria is Abuja. Norway is Oslo. Oman is Muscat. Pakistan is Islamabad. Panama is Panama City. Philippines is Manila. Poland is Warsaw. Portugal is Lisbon. Qatar is Doha. And Russia is Moscow. Try to go through the entire sequence couple of times and try to remember them. Moving forward. major stock market indices this occurred in uh, uh, last year it occurred in ift it was it has occurred in uh, uh, zat also so remember all of these these are the major stock indices in asia you have snp asia 50 for the entire continent of asia in india we all know it is uh, bsc has uh, sensex and nsci has nifty and then japan has nikkei the main stock market index of japan is nikkei germany has dax Europe has euro if if the word euro comes then it is europe if you have ftsc then it is either england or it is for the entire europe ftsc euro 100 index is for europe and F ftsc 100 index is for united kingdom that is for uk latin america then we have china china usually starts with sse composite index or szse composite index germany is dax japan is nikkei China is SSE. Then Kospi is for South Korea. We Italy the stock market index starts with FTSE. The uh, Italian stock market starts with FTSE. Brazil we have Bovespa for for Brazil. Then S and P S and P Jones index also for Canada. This is called as S and P T X T S X sixty or S and P T S X composite index. France is C A C. These are the important stock market indices. Moving forward. list of brand ambassadors in india mericom the boxer she is brand ambassador for puma puma as well as psnl pv sindhu she is a badminton player she is brand ambassador for pnb metlife and uh, central reserve police force deepika padukone is for luxury airline vistara she is brand ambassador for vistara and then uh, for go ibibo as well as oppo you might have seen her oppo ads mahendra singh dhoni is brand ambassador for more than 30 brands Yeah, he is multiple brands. So Mastercard, Bharat Matrimony, Matrimony dot com. He has done ads on that. Indian Army. He has, he has, he lately served in Indian Army. Netmates, Dream Eleven, Car Twenty Four. All these are he is a brand ambassador of these brands. And coming to Amitabh Bachchan. Amitabh Bachchan is brand ambassador of One Plus, Cisco LED, Muthoor Group. He has made ads on all these. If you also remember, he is an uh, advertiser, brand ambassador for ICICI since two thousand eleven. Long standing uh, brand ambassador. Virat Kohli is brand ambassador for Philips India. Amaze, Amaze is a new brand. Luminous Power has released a new brand called as Amaze. So uh, Virat Kohli is the brand ambassador for that. He is also brand ambassador for Uber, MPL. MPL stands for Mobile Premier League. Mobile Premier League is just like Dream Eleven, but it's for cricket. He is also uh, brand ambassador for Money Transfer Portal called as Remit to India. Kriti Sanan, she is one of the upcoming actress. Uh, if you remember, she is the actress in Lukka Chupi. So she is the brand ambassador for Bata. She is also brand ambassador for one of the oldest groups in India, the R P Sanjeev Goenka group. 
Shahrukh Khan is the brand ambassador of Hyundai. He is also brand ambassador of Jio and Baijus. He is also brand ambassador of Big Basket. And most important, latest news is he has signed up a deal with uh, Ken Taro. He will be the band, brand ambassador of Ken Taro. Hema Malini has been the brand ambassador of Ken Taro. Now he will also serve as the brand ambassador. Okay, moving forward, Amir Khan is the brand ambassador of Vivo. He has done various ads on that. He is also brand ambassador for Phone Pay, Samsung. Alia Bhatt is the brand ambassador for Uber Eats and Make My Trip. She has also done ads on Make My Trip. Hrithik Roshan is brand ambassador for Ascent Meditech. Ascent Meditech is a producer of various healthcare products. They produce quality products at uh, cost effective prices. So Hrithik Roshan is the brand ambassador for that. He is also brand ambassador for Tata Tigor. Tapsi Pannu, she is one of the upcoming actress. She has done various movies like uh, Badla or uh, Mulk. She is the brand ambassador for PepsiCo's Kurkure. She is also brand ambassador for Horlicks. Rohit Sharma is for Sharp TV, Nissan Global. Anushka Sharma is the brand ambassador of Cox and Kings. This is her latest edition. She uh, became brand ambassador in 2018. She is also brand ambassador of uh, Colgate, Skill India campaign. Mahesh Babu is a Telugu producer, Telugu actor. He is brand ambassador for Denver. Ranveer Singh is brand ambassador of CRM. Uh, Xiaomi, Xiaomi India. He is also brand ambassador of JBL. JBL is uh, one of the leading hardware companies, uh, hardware manufacturers. Dish TV and ITC. Ranveer Singh is also for Dish TV and ITC. Lastly, Salman Khan is for Bharat Pay. Don't get confused between Phone Pay and Bharat Pay. Salman Khan is brand ambassador of Bharat Pay, while Amir Khan is brand ambassador of Phone Pay. Moving forward, ambassadors of government schemes and campaigns. This is again important. A exam point of view, this is quite important. City Compost Campaign. City Compost Campaign, the ambassador is Amitabh Bachchan. He is always uh, promoted cleaning and keeping clean city. So, city compost campaign is by Amitabh Bachchan. Incredible India, we all know Narendra Modi, the Prime Minister himself is the brand ambassador of Incredible India. Central Reserve Police Force, we just saw that badminton player PV Sindhu is the uh, brand ambassador of Central CRPF. Anti-liquor and anti-drug campaign of Kerala, this is by Sachin Tendulkar. Beti Bachao, Beti Padao campaign, Beti Bachao, Beti Padao campaign is famous in Haryana. It is done by Sakshi Malik. Indian Psychiatric Society. Indian Psychiatric Society. Deepika Padukone has lo had a lot of uh, psychological past. She had a lot of issues in that regard. So, for Indian Psychiatric Society, she is the brand ambassador. Make in India campaign is by Piruz Kambata. Piruz Kambata is the head of Rasna. He is from Rasna Limited. He is a less known person. So, the Make in India is uh, brand ambassador is Piruz Kambata. And Confederation of Women Entrepreneurs. C O W E. Confederation of Women Entrepreneurs is by Shilpa Reddy. Dia Mirza, again a famous Indian actress. She is for Swachh Sati. She is brand ambassador of Swachh Sati. And Akshay Kumar, we have seen various road safety ads. He has done various road safety ads. So he is the brand ambassador for road safety. Every state of India also has its own ambassador to promote tourism in its state. And A. R. Rahman is the brand ambassador for Sikkim tourism. Sikkim is one of the states that is standard between three countries, China, Nepal and Bhutan. A.R. Rahman, less known factors, he is from Madras. He has done various uh, uh, Malayalam and Tamil movies. But he is the brand ambassador for Sikkim. Priyanka Chopra is the brand ambassador for Assam tourism. Hema Malini, we know she is brand ambassador for Kentaro. These two together are uh, representing Haryana. Mahendra Singh Dhoni, he, his domicile state itself is Jharkhand. He was born in Ranchi. Ranchi, earlier it was part of Bihar. Now it is currently the part of Jharkhand. So he represents the state of Jharkhand. Virat Kohli represents Uttarkhand, uh, Uttarakhand tourism. Shah Rukh Khan represents West Bengal tourism. Steffi Graf. Steffi Graf is uh, one of the famous legendary tennis players. She is tourist ambassador for uh, Kerala. Sanya Mirza, even though she is born in Mumbai, her residence is in Hyderabad. She has won various titles. She has won uh, 10 singles titles, 13 doubles titles. She is a current uh, domicile of Telangana, so she represents Telangana tourism. And lastly, Amitabh Bachchan, we have seen various ads by Amitabh Bachchan on Gujarat tourism. He represents the state of Gujarat. We have lined up a lot of other stuff on autobiography, CEOs and many other stuff. Uh, because of paucity of time, we will do it in upcoming days. But I will leave, leave the link in description for the blog which has all the content. So that it will be useful uh, for the preparation of IEFT and all other exams. Good luck guys, we will see you soon.